Okay, this is how to do a micro hike. This is an activity that's focusing really on the biodiversity of the plants in an area that you've got. Um, it's good to find an area that's got slightly longer grass, although you can do it in quite short areas as well. You need to make sure you've got permission to be on the area that you're going to actually survey and look at and um, consider things like um, pollen counts, um, stinging nettles, thistles, just to make sure that the children are going to be safe while they're doing the activity. It does require you to prepare a little bit of equipment. Um, what you need is a, a length of string, about a metre, metre and a half long, and a series of flags. Now the flags that we've made are just made out of dowling that we've sharpened the ends of and we've put a bit of tape around the top as a, as a flag. So, <coughs> what you actually ask the children to do is to imagine that they've shrunk down to the size of a snail. And what they're going to do is a bit of a snail trail. And so you start with, you put your, your first flag in on one particular kind of plant. So I'm going to put it in, my first one, on this particular kind of grass. It's a really nice activity for getting children to actually realise that there are lots of different kinds of grasses so they can look at the seeds on the top, they can look at the shapes of the different grass um, leaves and appreciate what's around them. So the next thing you do is you find the next different plant, I'm going to choose this one here, and you just put your flag in next to it. You then take your string and just wrap it around and then I'm going to put my next flag in on the next different plant, which is going to be this, this buttercup here. It doesn't matter if you know what the plants are or not, that doesn't matter at all. Um, and it's encouraging the children to imagine that they're very, very small and to look at the details. So look at the different shapes of the leaves, look at the different colours, the textures and the different kinds of plants. So I'm going to put my next one in there because there's a different kind of plant there. And again, just wrap the string around and you keep going, keep putting them in until you find a different kind of plant. There's one there. And wrap it around. And what you're trying to show is that there's lots of different kinds of plants. There's a wide biodiversity in a very small area. Um, there's a different one there. So within that sort of metre, metre and a half, you've actually got seven or eight different kinds of plants. The children can then go on a guided tour of each other's and go and be a little snail somewhere else and follow the trail around, see if they've got the same kinds of plants. Are some of them quite common in your area? Are some of them quite rare? You can also get them to get the magnifying glasses. These ones have actually got a stand on them. So you can actually put them in front of the plant and the children can look through in some detail. And if you want them to sketch, it helps them to just leave their hands free to hold a clipboard and a pencil to be able to sketch the plants or look at them more closely. You can also give them um, identification charts. This is a one from the Field Studies Council, which is called Playing Fields Plants, which is really, really useful for school grounds because a lot of the common ones that you'll find are on there. And again, you can also, if you don't know what they are, you don't need to be an expert either. You can just take a photograph and you can put them onto a website like iSpot or something like that and they will actually get back to you and tell you what those plants are and help you with the identification. So really nice straightforward activity. You have children working in different areas with different sets of micro hikes and touring around and recording them.